Hello and welcome back to Dishing on Swishing. After our James Harden video, we got several comments and emails asking us to explain the concept of the decision point. And this is something we're excited to do because we don't always have the time to break down a single concept in our signature moves videos in order to keep their pacing and release them on time. Here in this series, we'll take a play or concept that NBA players use and take it apart and look at the details. Today we're going to look at the ins and outs of James Harden's decision point and advanced reads from the mid-range. If you haven't seen the original video, go watch that right now by clicking the card above or the link down in the description. Go ahead, I'll wait. Ready? Okay. Now here is the chart of the area of the court where Harden's decision point takes place and where he decides where the ball needs to go. The Rockets get him into position by putting him in the high pick and roll and putting shooters around him. It is important to note that the read will be a little different according to each player's play style and the players they have on the floor around them as well. For instance, Harden's pick and roll reads will be different than Westbrook's. When a point guard comes off a pick and roll, he basically becomes a quarterback. He has to decide whether to take it himself, make a short pass, or air it out. Now how does he do that? Take this play for example. On this play we see the Rockets run their bread and butter early offense pick and roll. The big man slips the pick and leaves early. Now here's the read that Harden has to make. He has two defenders with their focus on him, so scoring isn't really an option on this play. His next read is the roll man, but Harden understands that Capella isn't the best at catching tough bounce passes. The Capella Capella. So he looks at his next options, which is the shooters on the outside. He sees that Anderson has Davis on him, and that Gordon has one foot all the way in the paint, which leaves his man Beverly wide open for the corner three. This is the definition of what it looks like to go through reads and making the right play. On this play, we see the same pick and roll going left. Now stopping the play here, we can see that Harden has two options. He can go add Cousins with a Euro step and potentially get blocked, but he also sees that Capella actually has the space to catch and finish, so he hits him with a nice bounce pass for an easy score. Here we have a scoring play. Once again, high pick and roll going right. Right here, Harden sees that Nene is double teamed because of the poor spacing. So his choices are either to take it himself or to reset the offense. He knows that he has an inexperienced defender on him, so he goes with the step back move because he knows Johnson will overcommit on his drive. On this play, we have some more early offense with Harden having his defender on his hip. Now he is watching the big closely here. If he is in position by the time Harden reaches the decision point, he will kick it to his shooter. But here the big is too high and he's on his heels, which is a signal for Harden to attack. Now since the big is also slow footed, he decides his best move is going to be the Euro step. This quick read gets him an easy bucket. Another high pick and roll here and Harden sees Nojira all the way up at the three point line, which means the basket is completely unguarded. And he uses his deceptively quick foot speed to get all the way to the rim. Similar read here. By the time Harden gets to the decision point, he sees that the spacing is good and that all his teammates are guarded, but he has his defender on his hip, which gets him all the way to the rim. There you go. That was just a quick look at the decision point concept and what reads Harden makes in this position and a little bit of his thought process on offense. This is a little bit different style video than we usually do, so if you liked it and want to see more, let us know. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for more Dishing on Swishing.